What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make your very own Twitch overlay to use in your streams. Now this is going to be a very simple overlay that's not too obstructive, and it's going to be really easy to make. So remember that if you guys do like this video, to leave a like, and also add me on social media sites, you know, I've made an Instagram and a Snapchat, and the links to all those things will be down below. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go on to File, and click New, and you're going to make a new document. Make sure that the background contents are transparent, the width is 1920 and the height is 1080. So this is going to be in 1080p and then just click OK. So the first thing you want to do is go to the rectangle tool and hold down on it and select the rounded rectangle tool. So the shape of this overlay is going to be a small rounded rectangle. It's going to be going on the bottom of the actual stream. You can also move it on the top and put it on the top if you want. But for this case, I'm going to be putting it on the bottom and you just want to make a rectangle and it could be the size that you wish. So we're just going to go ahead and make it. And I think that's about right. That's good. So we can move on to the next step. Now, the next thing we're going to be doing is centering this rectangle to the actual stream. So we're going to press Control A to select the entire layer. Um, if you're on Mac, you press Command A and then go to Layer, Align Layers to Selection and Horizontal Centers to horizontally center it. Now, right now, this rectangle looks very, very boring. So we're going to make it look a bit better. So of course, you can change the fill of it by going to fill and selecting a different color. You can give it a stroke as well over here, like so. But what you can also do is right click and go on blending options and add some other effects. An effect that I like to add is a drop shadow. So I would check the drop shadow button and then make the opacity 100, the distance 1, and the spread and size 33. Now just experiment and find something that you like. So I'm going to probably make the spread a bit bigger and a bit bigger. And that looks good. You can also add a gradient if you want. So you can click on gradient overlay and then you can give it like a gradient. And then you can click over here on the gradient slider and you can change the gradient you want to you know make it look like something that you would like and to change the colors of the gradient just double click on the stops over here so i would double click this and then i can change the color once again and have a different gradient color so i'm just messing around here but yeah that's how you can change the gradient colors now, apart from adding gradients and certain colors to the actual background, another really cool thing you can do to make your overlay stand out is add a actual background as your background for the overlay. So to do this, you can go onto Google Images and find a background you would like. So for example, uh, this background looks good. So I would click on view image and then I would just download it. So I'm going to download, uh, we'll download 1366 by 768 and let it download. So for this, I just searched for a blue grunge background and this came up. And as you can see, it's called grungy background. So we're going to go back into Photoshop, go to file, place, and then place this image, which was called grungy background, which is right there. And there we go. Now holding shift, you can resize it. And you're just going to want to position this background on top of the rectangle, like so. Click the check mark. And then make sure that that layer is directly on top of the rectangle. So I'm just going to make sure it's right on top. And then what you want to do is press Control or Command if you're on Mac and select the rectangle layer, not the actual background layer, but the rectangle layer. So press Control, click on the rectangle. And as you can see, the rectangle is now selected. Now click on the grungy background wallpaper layer and then make clipping mask. So to do that, just right click the layer and click on create clipping mask. And there we go. The background you selected is now the background of your Twitch overlay. And now the final thing you have to do is just add some text. So go to the text tool, click on the layer and put in whatever text you'd like, right? So you can make the text, for example, uh, thanks for watching, be sure to subscribe, donate. You can put in your social media icons or links as well. Just put in whatever text you want. So I'm going to put in, oh, let's see, let's make it like 150 for now. Welcome to the stream. Add an exclamation mark, move it on top. And right now it's definitely too big. So I'm going to select the text layer, press control A, and then just make it a bit smaller. Uh, maybe a bit smaller, a bit bigger. And that looks good. Now to center this text, all you have to do is control click on the rectangle layer once again, so that the rectangle is selected, then make sure the text layer is selected, go to layers, align layers selection, vertical centers, then layers, align layers selection, and horizontal centers, and then press Control D to deselect, and there we go. Now, you can do the same thing with other stuff. For example, say you wanna add a Twitter icon to your overlay. You can just go to Google Images and search for a Twitter icon, go to File, Place, and Place that, and then align that the same way you align the text. Just add whatever you want to the overlay, you know, any text you want, and then you can also style it by right-clicking on the layer and going to Blending Options once again. You can add a gradient overlay. So I'm going to add a black and white gradient overlay, 
and make the opacity 10%. So it looks kind of metallic. And I'll also add a drop shadow. And that looks good to me. But yeah, be sure to just experiment and see what you like. Once you're done making the overlay, just go to File, Save As, and save it as a PNG. So I'm going to save it as over, uh, let's see, Twitch Overlay PNG. And there we go, now it's saved. Now to actually add this overlay onto your stream, I'm going to be using OBS. Now if you guys don't know how to stream to Twitch, I have a separate video on that and just search that up. But basically what you want to do to add the actual overlay is go to your scenes and then click preview stream. Then all you have to do is right click sources and then go to add and then image. And then we're going to call this image overlay. You can call it whatever you want, click OK. Click browse and then select your image. So it was in downloads and I saved it as twitch overlay.png. Then just click OK. And there we go, the rectangle. Then it says, welcome to the stream, just like we planned it to look like. But yeah, that's about it. I know this video is a bit simple, but if you guys want to see more advanced tutorials, let me know in the comments. And if you guys did like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching. My name is Iovo, and I'm signing out.